So in the last video, I was saying that I want to start working on this area right here and make an area behind the fence for these two trash cans because I'm sick and tired of looking at them and probably the whole neighborhood is sick and tired of looking at them. So let's go ahead and just pull these out. Put them over here for now. And let's take a look at this because this is the area that I want to work on right now. I think I'm going to clean this up a little bit here, put down some of that black fabric and put some mulch in there. I need to clean out this area right here, get my trimmers out and trim down these bushes. It's always easier to do this stuff before it starts blooming because once it starts blooming, it's just all crazy all over the place. Me and Marion are having tripod wars because she keeps saying that I stole hers, which I probably did. But I found this one right here, which is actually a $70 tripod. I got it at Goodwill the other day for seven bucks. All right, so I got this cleaned up pretty good in here, in front of the fence. Um, dug some of that out and scraped it up with the rake. Um, took all the extra dirt back and dumped it behind the shed there. Um, cleaned this out pretty good. I trimmed this bush, this bush, and this bush. So it's coming along there. Now I just have to figure out what I'm going to do in this area over here where I want the trash cans to be because I think... I want them to be side by side up here rather than side by side in front of the fence. I guess that would be behind the fence now. Yeah, those fit in there pretty good just like that. And it looks much better than having them in front of this fence right here. They kind of blend into the background there, even though you can still read the thing that says Kimball on there. But that's all right, because we'll put a couple of those shepherd's hooks or something else right there holding some flowers. So now I just got to figure out, like I'm going to put mulch down here. Um, obviously there's going to be mulch around here too, but I think I'll get some of those concrete stepping stones and just make like a platform right there and coming down here as well so that I can fill the rest in with mulch and you're not actually stepping on the mulch. And even though I don't really care too much for this type of a rock walkway that goes all the way to the backyard there, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it there rather than putting a lot of money into replacing it. And I have enough um, just random rocks laying around that I can dig this out and extend it all the way to the driveway here. So I was just measuring the area here and I see that Home Depot has a 24 by 24 by two inch thick concrete pavers. I can get two of those. That is 48 inches there perfectly. Then I can get another one to put here and two 12 by 12s that will bring it right down here. So we'll have a nice concrete roll in and then those can both sit on concrete there. And then the rest of that I can fill in with the black mulch pretty cool. So off to Home Depot we go. Man, whenever I come down here, I start looking at everything like these mowers. I'm like, yep, gotta have a yellow one, but I'll save that for when I get a bigger property. All right, I need some of these fabric garden staples. I got a couple things of Roundup, which I know is not like the greatest thing for humans, but it's not like I'm drinking it. I don't need these today, but I can't help but looking at them. I definitely want to get some path lights for when I do that front path. I think something that's kind of squared off like this would be perfect, and I do love the way the glass is on that, plus they are solar. I think we'll go ahead and just get a pack of those. Hello, lady. <laughs> so here's our paving stones, and it looks like these ones on the bottom are the big ones. Wait, there's a couple of them over here. These are 24 inch square. Oh my gosh, is that stuff heavy? Whose idea was this anyway? I got some pavers. I stacked them like that so they'd be easier to pick up because these things are heavy. Got some other pavers, some sand. So I started digging out this area right here where I said I could just dig it out and then extend the uh, these rocks all the way out here. 
and there's already rocks there so that was just way overgrown right there i just need to clean that up probably if i got the power washer out i could clean that up really good in there i really would rather not dig all of those out and clean them up individually and then pack them back down in there and that's pretty much what i'm ending up having to do i've been down here on my knees digging out all these tiny little rocks i pulled out a couple more of the paving rocks here Man, what a job just this little part here is starting to be. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get for the time being. So I hope it looks better on camera than it does in real life. No, actually it's not too bad. It was just really difficult to get all these stones fit in there correctly. And they're still not perfect, but like I said, that's as good as it's gonna get for right now. All right, well, there it is for the time being. Turned out pretty good. It was a much bigger job than I ever expected. These things down here were a pain in my butt. It all was a pain in my butt. <laughs> but I got the, uh, the weed stop laid down all back to here. I got these pavers laid down, and they're not real tight in there. Once I put the mulch down, it'll be much better because um, it'll kind of pack them in there. But these are much looser in here than I thought they would be. Still looks pretty much what I imagined, though, and uh, looks pretty good. The only reason I haven't put the mulch down yet is because it is wrapped up and covered with plastic here so good, and it's supposed to rain for the next, like, three days. So I don't want to cut into it just to get, like, four bags of mulch and then have the rest of it get soaked. So there it is about a day and a half work right there looks much better than it did and it definitely will look much better from the street without the trash cans actually sitting in front of that fence all right that's it i'm exhausted i'm going to take a shower